my own uh, choice is uh, Bola Ahmed uh, Tunumbu. I'm a Hausa man, but I choose uh, Tunumbu, the best uh, candidate, because it's once our own uh, governor in uh, Lagos State here, and I see what he did, so I like him. Even uh, it's, it's my own choice here. So it's hundred percent I choose him to become a president. Yeah. If I want to do a travel choice or something, yeah. I can say, okay, let me choose Atiku because it's, he come from not. Yeah. But uh, this is not travel. My own choice is Tunumbu. It's Yoruba man and I am a Hausa man, but I like Tunumbu to become president. I'm from Kano, Kano State. Uh, my preferred candidate uh, is Tunumbu. Um, the reason why is that um, Tunumbu is the one that um, constructs Lagos State to, be, to become in chief. So I think Tunumbu is the one who can be able to, to lead Nigeria through. In the times of insurgency, insecurity, sorry, insecurity, economic aspect of it, and so on and so forth. I think Tinumbu is the right candidate to vote for in 2023. We chose Tinumbu, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, because he's a nice man. When he was a governor, he really tried for Lagos. More especially, when we, uh, there is crisis in Idi Araba, he really tried for everybody in this uh, community. So that's why we want to choose him as our president, and we choose uh, Chetima as vice president. My preferred candidate is uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumu. And uh, to me, he is the best among the four. And my reasons are like this. First, uh, for continuity's sake, Buhari has been the president for eight years. And there are a lot of projects uncompleted projects by the present administration. In order to have a seamless, uh, to see more realistic uh, work or progress, development, we need to give the same party the chance to continue so that these projects will come to fruit and we'll see the real development that we're beginning for. Second, Tunubu has been a governor of Lagos State for eight years. And we all are witness to what Lagos is today. Lagos is not just a state in Nigeria, it's an economy in itself. When you compare Lagos economy to the rest of West Africa, Lagos will come around one or two. And even the debt profile of Lagos, sorry, the tax profile of Lagos, they, they collect tax far better than the federal government. Infrastructure, we can see, the development in Lagos is far greater than what you have even in the federal capital. And, we, and Lagos has this because they have had a continuous uh, uh, government from Tunumbu to Fashola, from Fashola to Ambode, from Ambode now to the present government. So for one to see, development is not just something of one or two years. It takes time and patience before you can really see the real fruit. So if you are to say now you are to give another person the chance to come on board, he might start all over again and we might find ourselves in, 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 for the next eight or 20 years. There are people that are given chance for, PDV has been around for 16 years and they messed up with the whole thing. So for us to see the real change, we need to still give them another eight years so that we can really see what have a, 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 a realistic uh, development. People, yes, as we know, people might start complaining now that things are hard. But for things to get better, just compare yourself to surgery. When you go for surgery, it's hard. But after the surgery, and you, are, you, you, you get well. There's no way you can have surgery without pain. But if you don't have the surgery, you're not going to get okay. So yes, we are, we, are, we are rebuilding things now. So for me, Tinubu will continue from where Buhari stops. And with what Tinubu has done with Lagos, I think if he can replicate that for Nigeria, we'll be in a better position. Far better than what, where we are today.
I don't have any candidate now. Because all of them, most of them, they are entering without uh, arrange our own our own mind. Because they do their own mind. But the only thing when I'm praying all the among all of that three candidates, now only God know the first person, the choosing one, one can help us to arrange this Nigeria, make this Nigeria day better, good and healthy. Because people are suffering now. But we need, a, the, I, can, I, I don't have any one candidate in my mind, but I pray to God, all these three people, when they are coming out, God will choose the good one among them. The one who can help this, our Nigeria. So I'm praying to God, either to, uh, Tunumbu or Atiko or the other, other third party, may God choose the good one who can hold this Nigeria. We are, we are, we are, we are still suffering. We are suffering. So we need somebody who can help Nigeria. Then everything will just be okay. Uh, ABC failed now because we vote for them. We vote for them. And it's in now. Everything is hard for people. So are we going to talk life? We cannot talk life ourselves. So let's, let, let's talk the reality. What is going on? Everybody know. But this current one, where is APC? We are praying to God. Anybody who is coming now, either APC or PDP or the other, other party, the third party, we are praying to God. Only God knows the good one among them. So the one who can help this, our Nigeria. So no wahala. Anybody will come, arrange everything. No wahala. Uh, uh, may get, uh, give them the power to rule us fine. Maybe say rule us with hungry. Rule us with suffer. People are suffering. People are crying every day and night. It's not good. It's not good. Every time people will get up, vote for you. Vote for you after they don't vote. The person, swear, they swear in, swear in, nobody. By that time, they won't buy anybody. So that's why we are praying for these candidates when they are coming now. May God touch their mind. May they do anything good to us. Uh -huh, because people are suffering. They don't know us when they suffer. Masses are suffering. So, understand? so any candidate, all of them when they are coming, only God can choose and give us the good person who can make this Nigeria to be better. We are suffering. It's not serving Nigeria. See us everywhere be. Eh? Everything market, everything cost, everything high. Eh? Situation, transport, everything high. So how do you want how do you want um, poor people to survive? Poor people cannot survive. Eh? Poor people cannot survive. That's the only thing what we are praying. Only God can do it. Only God can choose the good one among them. Amen. Anybody where you come? Okay, we give glory to God. So there is no any party among that place. Atiku has the chance to unite Nigeria when he was in PDP. Yeah, he was a past president for, for, for eight years. What has he contributed? What, what, are the, what are his inputs? And if you go to Atiku's track record, I don't think he's going to be a good president. To me personally, I've been closely watching his, uh, his, uh, his, his records. There are a lot of there are a lot of a lot of accusations, accusations based accusations that have substance. It's just that we are in a country where they don't go far. If we are to go far, I don't think Atiku will, say, will, will will even contest for the president of Nigeria. He has a lot of allegations on him that will disqualify him naturally if if we are in a more developed place. Well, you see, when we come about the present government, we will not choose uh, APC at all, at all, because the condition we people are now, we are not in a uh, good uh, condition. Hardly a person get uh, to, to eat three times uh, daily. But uh, forget about that one, because uh, to become, uh, now we are under pressure. No food, everything higher, so we are not enjoying the government. But we know Everything is not the same thing. If this man, another man come, his own uh, this thing will not be the same thing. That's why I prefer him to, to become uh, a president. Not because of uh, 
It's my townsman or I know if I want to choose my townsman, I will choose a, a Tiku because we come from not together. But no, this is not a tribal politics. We are talking of, a, you, you said I should take my own choice. So my own choice is Tunumbu and I like him because I know uh, Tunumbu is chop and chop if he's if there. Everybody, I know we all enjoy. Uh, that is why. Buhari he didn't try because this Boko Haram, so all what they are doing, you see, we have kidnappers. When Buhari, when Buhari was the uh, president, there's kidnappers. So when Tinumbu, I, I, can, I can even say when then, what's the name of this um, president that just left before Buhari? We don't have any Boko Haram at all. But yeah. now, is it Yaradua? During the Yaradua this thing, there's no uh, any um, Boko Haram, no kidnappers. But when Buhari just enter, uh, Boko Harams are plenty. Please, we want to withdraw Buhari. We want Bola Ahmed Chinubu as our president. And Shatima will be the vice president. The leaders did not care about Nigeria citizens because it's lack of security, no security, no food, no light. Nothing, no security. They can kill you any moment, they can dump you. Understand? Why millions of people are dying every day? And these people did not even care to stand for the people. They will budget millions or billions of naira, share it between them. Why do you think I, Hussein, will vote for this kind of people? Why? What is the essence of voting for them? I think voting, we are voting because we need the result. But it's not there. Why am I going to vote? To vote for the people who do not even care about me. Who is Buari? Who is Atik? Who is Tulumbu? Whatever party you are, the only thing that we need, if you like, eat the money, but do something for the country. How many years are we going? They are telling us that they will do it. Everything will be normal. But there's, there's no any result in it. Even you, that you are asking me this kind of question, there's no security in your head. Any moment, they can kill you. Anyone, and there's no anything like uh, begging or um, even greeting your family for it. The only thing is, we need people that can stand for this country. Tulumbu, Buhari, Atiku, that people are not the right people. Most of them, they are not the right people. So far, the country, they do not have the perfect person, the right person. I do not think I, Hussein, can vote for this country. I did not, I lose hope because there is no anything. I live uh, born in Lagos State and brought up in Mushi local government. That is my local government. This is where I get, but my grandfather is uh, from northern side of the country, which is Zamfara State, Aurana Muda. How many millions of Nigerians are they killed? And, this go, and these people did not even talk about it. I did not see it. Why are you, talk, why are you telling me to vote for this kind of people? Who did not even care about my my people and as a citizen of Nigeria I said this thing and I repeat myself for me to vote this kind for this kind of people I do not think I can there's no anything like root nothing no security no light nothing no job you see how people are kidnapping people they are kidnapping millions of Nigeria and they will tell you to bring money. Without money, they will kill your brother or your father. Or your... Nothing is happening. Are you telling me um, um, Nigeria soldiers or Nigeria Navy or uh, they cannot solve this issue? Why? What is the essence of having this kind of government? And you are telling me to vote or to tell you what? Who, which, which one of them am I going to vote for? I cannot do something like that. My age is 29 years in this world for now. 
this December, inshallah, I will be 30 years. But I do not see any result. If a boy like me, age 29 years, losing hope in this kind of country, what are you telling me? Who is Buhari, who is Atik, who is... All of them are not the right people. The right people are coming. And I do not think the right people are Nigerians. Well. The best thing is for you to start bringing uh, this Putin or uh, this China people to start solving your own problem because I do not think Nigeria can solve it by itself. Peter Obi, I don't know much about Peter Obi, but for me, I, I, I have not had anything while he was governor. He has been governor for, is it four years of, or eight? But if he has done something really big or better, I think we'll have had it by now. Mm, I don't think Atiku is the right candidate. Though he's from the north, I know. But I think when we give Tunumbu chance, this does not matter whatever maybe you are from north or west. I think the right, the right person I think it's Tinumbu. So I don't go by tribe or whatever, whatever. So I think I'm from house, I'm from uh, not part of the region, but I think Tinumbu is the right candidate. Fine or good, I like your question. But my own belief, I don't believe any people to control this Nigeria. Because all those people, this way we are continuing this election. We don't have we don't have any benefit on it because I'm not a small baby on this Nigeria. I'm about 40. Reason why I'm saying this, I don't have any benefit since I'm coming to this Nigeria. I have a lot of things to say, but if I have another question, forget about those people. If I have another people, maybe the new people, I will let her believe them. Those more than than those people. Those Peter will be and whatever anybody. I don't believe anybody. I like a small person. Maybe say I don't hear from them before. A uh, little experience I have in this country. Because it's good to go around. It's not by only Nigeria. I have to travel to any other country before. But the more any experience I have. This country, we have a lot of things we have, but we don't have a leader. We need to a leader we can control us. It's no matter I have a money to teach my children to go to school, right? The reason is that if my children go to school, how my children can have an opportunity to have the or experience to have a, the experience as in what they have by the what they go to the economic as in, I'm not a baby. I'm older. I'm working with a, 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 a core electric. Are you with me? And I can show you my own ID card also. If you wish, let me show you. Do you wish? Okay, if you don't wish, there's no problem with that, right? But a little thing I want to let you understand. Let our government know we are ready to serve them, but they don't have anything to do for us. My name is Mustafa Ibrahim Kasim, calling from, coming from Kano State. I would like to vote for Bola Ahmed Tunumbu because I see Bola Ahmed Tunumbu government ATF in Lagos. I see how the Lagos they clean, everywhere they clean. When you go to Lagos, you see the security day, everybody is safe for Lagos in fine condition. That is why I like to go to Obala Ahmed in 2023. My name is Bashir Idris. I'm from Bauchi State. Most of them are the fellows. They keep telling us the same thing. Look at, uh, look at uh, uh, Asu now, for example. Most of these so-called big men, they took their children to abroad while we are here suffering. To me, ah, let's go choose the right person for us. That is my wish. If it is Tunumbu, if it is Atiku, anyone, let God touch his heart and change this country. See our area. Snap them now, snap. Can you snap?
this is the kind of community we are living into. That means we cannot close our eye. When we close, this is the kind of re resort we are going to see. That means we cannot close or open our eyes to go that kind of people. We are not good people. We are not ready to help. You understand? Thank you.